I'm Paul Gatling with the Northwest Arkansas Business Journal. Coming up later this month in Rogers, the Northwest Arkansas Technology Summit. Here today to discuss that with us is Meredith Lowry. She's a patent attorney at Wright Lindsay Jennings, and she's also co-chair of this year's event that will convene October 17th at the John Q. Hammond Center. Meredith, welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you. First of all, what, what's the activity level like these days for a patent attorney in Northwest Arkansas? Never a busy, busy day? It's always a busy day. Right? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. Well, let's talk technology. Um, give us an overview of this event. What is the Northwest Arkansas Technology Summit. When I hear that phrase, I think of a place I, I go and I may or may not see some robots roaming around the convention center floor and some really futuristic uh, exhibitions. But just tell us, what is the Northwest Arkansas Technology Summit? Well, it's a mixture of things. Right. Well, we have technology for healthcare, we have technology for logistics, transportation, and you may see some robots puttering around okay. as well. Hmm. We have some great exhibits coming. Um, some that are so classified right now, I don't even know what they're going to show, right. but it's going to be fun. It's a great mix, heavy on retail, but that's to be expected in our industry and world up here. Right. What was the goal behind, this is the fourth year for the summit, what was the original goal behind uh, having the event? Why has it gotten so popular the last three or four years? The original goal was to showcase Arkansas technology and that Northwest Arkansas is a great place to have a tech company. Right. And that's still a good goal for the summit. It's expanded. We have a lot of other goals in mind, uh, right. mainly the interconnection of people. That's a big thing for the Bentonville Chamber, who hosts the summit, and then also for the council as a, a whole that puts on the summit. Okay, and still time to register, I assume, still a couple of weeks away? Still a few tickets left. We have about 100 tickets for each event. Okay. So it, that's, they will go fast. They'll sell out. Right. Um, the tickets are available at nwatechsummit.com. Okay. Um, so. You've been selling a lot of tickets and doing a lot of planning for the last several months. I mean, this is a lot that goes into this. It's been a year, actually. Yeah. Since the last one, I guess. Since the last one, we kick off almost immediately in planning yeah. and thinking, what are we going to talk about next year? Right. And this is your, uh, this is your first year as co-chair, but you've been involved in, in uh, the last three of these as a member of the NWA Tech Council. So mm -hmm. tell us what's, what's going to be new at this year's summit. What can we expect to see that's, that's new this year? Well, we've gotten larger. Right. Last year we were at capacity on the summit day itself. Right. And so we had a great turnout for women in technology panel last year. So we decided to have separate programming for women in technology to showcase the need for more women in tech and the things that women are doing within technology. So that's on Monday. The Arkansas Maker Summit is also going to occur. The, with the Maysium hosting that. And it's going to be a great event on its own. They're going to mix together the Monday Maker Summit and then the Women in Technology and have lunch. So there will be interactions between the two of them. Mm -hmm. And so then we have the Summit Day. We also have Code Fest on Sunday. So mm -hmm. it's become three days worth of programming. Right. And we're really excited. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like you're growing in days and venues and events and mm -hmm. speakers, just like a lot of events in Northwest Arkansas. They take on a life of their own uh, after the first few years, it sounds like. It has taken on a <laughs> life of its own. <laughs> My life, too. Right. <laughs> well, maybe what would you point to as the big value of this summit? Uh, uh, you know, your attendance is probably going to quadruple since that, that first year. What do you think is driving that? What do you attribute that to? I mean, obviously, these people that are coming are finding some value in it. What do you think that is? Well, we have tremendous speakers. I, I can't say enough about our speakers. Mm -hmm. But it's not just the speakers. The speakers, when they come in, they don't just speak and leave. They interact with the attendees. And so one of my favorite stories coming out of last year's summit was Martha Montoya. She sat through our discussion on Watson and IBM, some discussion on that. And she talked to the speakers afterwards. And Martha has worked with farmers out in the fields and helping them get their product to retailers. And 
she's using Watson now because of that interaction to help those farmers. And it's those interactions that make me so excited. So I think I'm not the only one that thinks that that's a great opportunity for the attendee. Right. What's been the reception? Uh, you mentioned the speakers. What's been the reception throughout the state um, uh, in terms of the speakers you have been able to attract and also the, the attendees you, you've been able to attract? Um, you know, you've got some names from some pretty heavyweight Fortune 500 companies and not just companies in Arkansas, I mean, throughout the country and even some international speakers. So, um, you know, and what is the strategy for you as an organizer in the, in the kind of speakers and the kind of uh, topics that you want this event to involve? There's a balance. I mean, we have speakers from over 25 Fortune 500 companies, hmm. but we also have, we have 80 speakers, more than 80 speakers at this point. And so we have the balance between those large tech companies right. that are very, very invested in this and trying to make sure that they have people here in seats and also speaking, but also our local people. We want to highlight Arkansas technology. So making sure that we have a good mix and a new mix of speakers from our area and region is important. Who are some of the people and topics that you're uh, most anticipating this year? We have Lisa DeLuca from IBM speaking this year. She's a powerhouse and she's speaking both women to technology and also on Summit Day. I'm really looking forward to her. She's one of the most influential people in IoT and Internet of right. Things is going to be things, right. a big thing this year. The theme of the conference is actually Connected Devices, Connected World. Mm -hmm. And so that theme runs through a lot of the discussions that will be happening. Okay. All right. Last question for you, and this kind of can speak to your career as an attorney, but what are some of the hot button issues you believe will shape uh, technology innovation as it intersects to business and law over the next maybe 12 to 15 months? What are some things that are going to be more interesting for you to follow in your industry? Artificial intelligence is sometimes cropping up when you see things about bankruptcy and using AI, but a lot of my practice focuses on retail technology. And I think that practice and the practice of law are similar in the same way of we have this connectivity to the world. How are we communicating with our customers? It's the same dilemma that Tyson, Sam's, and Walmart could be having in talking to our people. Right, and everybody's trying to find out better and more uh, sophisticated ways of doing that. Coming across and being authentic. Right, okay, and that's where a good attorney comes in, right? Mm -hmm. All right, that's good stuff. We will leave it there with Meredith Lowry. She's one of the co-chairs of the upcoming Northwest Arkansas Technology Summit, which convenes October 17th at the John Q. Hammond Center in Rogers. Meredith, thanks very much. Thank you. All right, and a quick note, uh, if you want to find out more about the Technology Summit, be sure and check out our story in the current issue of the Business Journal. You can find the digital version available online at our website. Just go to nwabusinessjournal.com. I'm Paul Gatling. Thanks for watching. Arkansas Electric Cooperative Corporation provides electric energy across two-thirds of Arkansas. This is an exciting time in our energy history, with incredible progress being made in renewable energy and storage technologies. As our energy portfolio continues to diversify, We'll maintain an all-the-above strategy to provide reliable and affordable electricity. Ever since the first light bulbs were placed in our members' homes, the electric cooperatives have been the solutions provider for our members, and we want to continue that well into the future. Each day, the promise of our nation begins again. Arkansas and America moving forward. I help make that promise a reality. It's not for everyone. But people everywhere depend on us. Oh, I love you too. Trucking delivers, or everything stops. And that's what drives me.